All right, now we're doing seven Q consecutive vowels in a string. This is by G Front, and 91% uh, of people like it. We're going, we are given a random string of lowercase letters. Our job is to find out how many ordered and consecutive vowels there are in a given string beginning, beginning from A. We're going to keep in mind that uh, the consecutive vowel to U is A, and the cycle continues. We're going to return an integer with the length of the consecutive vowels found. This is better explained with some examples. This is the string we're given. We're going to start here, A, E, I, O, U, and then start back again with A right there, and it's going to be 6 uh, right here. And this one, we're going here, A, E, I, O, it's going to return 4, right? So that's basically what we're going to do. Uh, y is not a vowel, right? So let's start off by putting in here a, uh, let's declare the list of vowels. So we're going to say let vowels, vowels, equal a string with A, E, I, O, U in it, all right? Comma, and we're also going to have a vowels, vowels index, all right? And that's going to be zero at the moment because that's where A is. A is at index zero. And that's what we're starting with because clearly we're going to have to go find that. Um, and then after that, we're going to say result, which is where we're going to put the uh, number of times it finds the vowels in order. And that's going to equal zero as well for our initial value, right? Let's say four. With a for loop, we're going to say let index equals zero. We're going to say when index is less than word dot length, we're going to say index a plus plus, right? We're going to iterate through. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to iterate through the index of this string, the indexes of this string. All right. So now we're going to go and say uh, if word at index, at the current index, uh, equals vowels at that current index, which is vowels index, whoops, don't forget the case index, all right, and don't forget the n, all right, cool. If that's the case, uh, if they equal each other, we're going to say result plus plus, all right, add one to the result right there. Uh, then we're going to do a little, oh, no, 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 we got to do the thing where we reset it to uh, zero when it hits U, okay? So for that, we're going to do a little uh, if statement here. If vowels index equals four, because it's zero, one, two, three, four, we're going to send it back to zero vowels index equals zero all right and else if that's not the case else we're going to uh, just say vowels index plus plus all right we're going to iterate through so after this is done it'll go to uh, after it finds the a it'll iterate to Vowel index one, and then we'll find the e, i, o, u. Repeat, repeat, repeat. You know, as many times as we want. Return. After all this is said and done, we're going to return the result. All right. Let's see what happens. Looks good right there. Looks good. But you know what? I think it might be a little bit long. I think it might be slow. Let's even see if it's fast to begin with. It might be uh, 53 milliseconds. Maybe the one-liner edition will be slower. Who knows? We'll only see once we do it. Const, right there, equals word. And then let's do the old arrow right there. 
And right here, we're going to declare the vowels inside of this right here. I don't know what this is called yet, but whatever the parentheses space is right there, that's what we're going to do. Put it in as one of the arguments, I guess. Uh, we're going to say vowels equals, you guessed it, A-I-O-U. All right. And now we're going to say here, well, first off, we're going to have to split this thing up. So we're going to have to use split JavaScript right here, which the split method divides a string into an ordered list of substrings, puts these substrings into an array, and returns the array. The division is done by searching for a pattern where the pattern is provided as a first parameter in the method's call. First parameter in the method's call. So I guess that's a method call. No, 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 no. That's not what it is. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to split it by these spaces in between the characters right there. So we're going to say word dot split by the spaces in between the characters. And it's making an array of each one of these letters now. Uh, now we're going to do reduce. And the reduce method executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value, all right? Also, we got to know that the first time that the callback is run, there is no return value of the previous calculation. If supplied, an initial value, which we're going to use, may be used in its place. Otherwise, the array element at index 0 is used as the initial value, and iteration starts from the next element, index 1, instead of 0. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the old... Uh, initial value. So here's the syntax we're using previous value, current value, arrow function right here. It's going to have uh, what we're going to do right there and we're also going to have this initial value after the end. We're going to put a comma after the statement or the whatever it is, the expression. Uh, so let's do it. Let's say prev cur for previous and current. All right. Now we're going to say prev. Actually, let's drop the initial value in there to start with and now let's say prev and we're going to say plus and if if current value equals uh, vowels vowels at and we're going to say uh, previous value so in this first one it's going to be at zero remainder operator um, vowels dot length uh, yeah plus current yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're going to add uh, current value pardon me we're gonna do previous and if the current value if it's an a basically if it's an a because a we're gonna go through with vowels previous uh, so it would be like zero divided by five uh, and the remainder of that, which in the first case would be zero, all right, and so on and so forth. Hopefully you understand how that works, um, because it totally does. Now let's see if this works. All right, great. Now let's attempt it. 53 on the other one, 68. Oh, big loser, big loser. In fact, I can just do this. Get this out of here. We're using this one. Test it out. Attempt it. 58 milliseconds, you're the big winner. Submit it. Very much like this one, let's go to my solutions. No solutions yet for this kata. Well, maybe one day. All right, and we'll see you next time.